videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. If you watch this channel, you likely remember when a newly married Britney Spears purchased a brand new mansion in Calabasas for nearly $12 million. While the new crib closely resembled her longtime estate in Thousand Oaks, California, it decidedly just wasn't the same because Britney ended up getting cold feet and staying in her beloved former crib. That being said, Spears ate a big loss to the tune of almost $2 million when selling the Calabasas property in February 2023. So some would wonder what was the point of buying it in the first place? Well, it might be a more simple explanation than you think. Most would assume that after Britney Spears was freed of her conservatorship at the end of 2021, have fans and the hashtag free Britney movement would be done worrying about their fave pop star. However, starting in 2022, new fears regarding Britney began swirling from the fact that her social media is controlled to wild conspiracy theories that she's even a clone. Either way, fans still constantly speculate about her behavior, which can be confusing to say the least. One of the events that got people thinking was the fact that Spears bought a stunning mansion with her new husband, Sam Asagari, located in Calabasas. But instead of moving in, she kept posting videos of her former home in Thousand Oaks, where she's long lived. The mystery seems to be solved though, considering Britney ended up selling this new Calabasas home at a loss in February, 2023, less than a year of owning it. But the reason behind it is simpler than you might think. In June, 2022, after a few months of having was hunting Britney and her newlywed husband, Sam, had found a place to call home. And at the time, it appeared they were already in the process of moving. Located in the exclusive community of the Oaks in Calabasas, California, Britney dropped $11.8 million on an estate which was equipped with a ton of security and privacy, also situated on 1.6 acres of land. Not only was the mansion itself protected, the Oaks is a gated community within another guard gated community. Some other celebrities who call this lavish area home are Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker, apparently also not too far from here, was none other than Brit's ex, Kevin Federline, in the home that he lives at with their two sons, Jaden and Sean. Just after their intimate wedding last year, the couple was spotted moving into the new home with Brit's white Mercedes in the driveway, along with some moving trucks. As for how her ex K-Fed felt about the move, a source claimed, Kevin was surprised that of all the neighborhoods she can afford to move to, she chose his. As long as his peace and tranquility aren't invaded, as a result, more power to her. Well, whatever that means, it seems Kevin doesn't have to worry about any of that anymore anyways. At the end of February, 2023, Britney offloaded her unwanted estate for just over $10 million. While to most of us, that's a crazy amount of dough, it's also $1.7 million less than she paid for it in summer 2022. Built in 2008, Britney's short-lived mansion seemed to be decked out in the usual opulent fashion, which she's a fan of. In fact, the home had a lot of similarities with her Thousand Oaks place, but in the end, it just wasn't the same. The sprawling single level home offered 11,649 square feet of space and tall custom steel doors, which opened into a luxurious and glam 33 foot front foil the entryway had soaring ceilings, open space, polished stone floors, and a sparkling chandelier. There were six bedrooms and nine bathrooms throughout, along with details like imported onyx, hardwood floors, vaulted ceilings, arched hallways, designer mosaic tiles, and much more. The bright main hallways looked as if they were out of a palace, while common areas like the formal dining room and the great room were decorated in an ornate fashion. There are also hand carved fireplaces throughout, one of which is situated in the main area that combines a family room with the massive kitchen and windowed breakfast nook in an open concept. This gourmet kitchen offered top grade appliances, an oversized center island, and some more glitzy chandeliers, while the family room opened up to a 2,000 square foot entertainment patio with barbecue center and fireplace to easily take any party outside. Other highlights of this mansion include an elegant wood paneled study, a lounge fitted with a wet bar, a gift wrapping room, a wine cellar, and an extravagant 10 seat home theater with top notch surround sound. Among the handful of guest and family rooms, the plush master retreat doesn't skimp out. This bedroom is decked out with a fireplace, sitting area, terrace, exercise room, and an extravagant
extremely lavished attached bath and dual walk-in closet with walnut cabinets. In fact, the ensuite is decked out in marble with both a soaking tub and a steam shower, a vanity, a small TV, and more. Aside from the expansive terrace attached to the mansion, the resort-style grounds pack in a stunning 55-foot pool and spa, complete with tiered waterfalls and even a water slide. For when guests come to stay, the property also has a separate one-bed, one-bath guest house with its own kitchen and elsewhere a five-car garage. While the home was no doubt beautiful, Brittany surprised fans when she changed her mind and decided to continue living in her former abode. In 2022, fans noticed that the singer had kept posting videos which were filmed in the home she supposedly moved from last summer. While there were crazy speculations about Bound, it seems that Spears simply just ended up not liking her new house. And sources told TMZ that she never really connected with the property and it wasn't enough to fulfill her dreams of starting fresh post conservatorship with her hubby. The dislike of the Calabasas home is likely the reason behind why Brittany barely posted any videos or photos of or inside the place. And as soon as she realized she wanted to sell the new home, she and Sam moved back to her old abode in Thousand Oaks full time. A source close to Brittany further explained, saying she always preferred this, the old home, and she never really vibed with the new house. It has nothing to do with the location of her sons or anything like that. As mentioned, the Calabasas crib was just down the street from her ex Kfed and their teen sons. The source added, It is simply that Brittany feels safe in her Thousand Oaks house and she has so many memories there. To her, this house felt like home and it is where they are currently living. Furthermore, Brittany felt Calabasas was too big and didn't offer her enough privacy. Well, it's a good thing that she kept her beloved mansion in Thousand Oaks because she currently still lives there now. Before even starting a house hunt in 2021, Brittany had long been living at her beloved Thousand Oaks mansion, which she purchased in 2015 for $7.4 million. Situated on nearly 21 acres of land, the estate boasts park-like grounds to roam on and oodles of space. So it's no wonder the pop star held her wedding to Sam here. Her estate is perched on top of a hill in a gated enclave with a villa-style mansion spanning over 13,200 square feet centering the property. Everything about Brittany's home is grand, with a marble-floored entryway stepping directly down to her lobby-sized great room with a ton of windows, 35-foot-high ceilings, and a massive fireplace. This space is hard to miss since it's been featured as a backdrop on her Instagram posts time and time again. The massive entryway features a grand staircase which leads to an open concept second floor area that overlooks the great room, but there's also an elevator to travel around the home. Britt is known to dance and put on a show in this spacious foyer too. Some spaces to explore in the mansion include five bedrooms, 7.5 baths, an oak paneled library with views of the Santa Monica Mountains and a huge media games room. There are multiple common spaces in Brittany's home, including a center island kitchen with top of the line appliances and a casual dining nook with bay windows and fireplace. One formal living room has a classic glam aesthetic featuring a crystal chandelier and limestone fireplace. Brittany has also fixed herself a complete home gym in her mansion, that same one that she nearly burned down to the ground at one point. Here, her master suite is also fit for a queen. Her private and massive bedroom comes complete with a private terrace, two custom walk-in closets, and two luxury bathrooms. One with a jetted tub and one with a steam shower. So which one of those suites seems to be better? This one? Anyways, the guests in the family bedrooms round out the upstairs level of this mansion. Once Brittany settled into her Thousand Oaks mansion, the home quickly became her go-to setting for many of her favorite activities like dancing, painting, and showing off her home workouts. Outside, the impressive features continue, including 1,200 square feet of patio space, an infinity pool and spa, and a tennis court, as well as a charming golf course. Elsewhere, there's an orchard and more landscaped grounds surrounding the place. There is even a sprawling poolside pavilion with its own full kitchen, bathroom, and wine cellar. So honestly, with all of these jaw-dropping features, I can see why the pop star had trouble letting this place go. Well, after seeing why Britney Spears ditched her new mansion without even staying there much, and comparing both of those homes, that's gonna be it for today's house tour. But before we leave, answer me this. 
If you were a multimillionaire, would you keep your old property? Like just in case you disliked your newly purchased one? Let me know in the comments what you would do and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned for this one where we look inside Britney's ex-husband Kevin Federline's homes. Being married to Britney Spears at one point in time, especially when she was at the top of the world, Kevin Federline knew what it was like to live in luxury. After their divorce, however, Kevin would live in a couple of California area rentals before eventually finding love again and moving into a new home. While Kevin and Brittany have led very separate lives, aside from sharing their sons together, most recently, his famous ex-wife became his neighbor, believe it or not. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. For a brief period of time, a large part of the world's male population would have given anything to be Kevin Federline while he was dating and then married one of the biggest pop stars in the world, Britney Spears. These two got hitched in 2002 before proceeding to go down in pop culture infamy with the release of their reality series, Britney Britney and Kevin chaotic. I really need to watch that. Anyways, then just two months after their second son was born in 2006, Britney would file for divorce and Kevin would pack it in, seldom to be heard from again outside of conversations revolving around his ex and their two children. Following their divorce, Spears' defenders would never forgive Kevin for disrupting her life and asking for five figure monthly child support payments. But considering Kevin had been handed over sole physical custody of their sons, pressed and Jaden, he has always insisted that the money that he asked for was to provide for their kids. After getting divorced, Kevin would wind up moving into some rentals in California where he'd spend the next few years of his life putting himself back together. Later on, Kevin would find love once again with volleyball player turned special education teacher Victoria Prince in 2008. These two would then move into a new home and start a family of their own with two daughters. But just as Kevin and his family had finally started fresh, Brittany and her hubby Sam Asghari would move in right down the street. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're looking at where Kevin Federline calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Way back when, in December of 2006, the former Mr. Britney Spears found himself in need of a place to live after his pop star wife filed for divorce kicked him out of her Malibu home. So Kevin headed over the hill to the California neighborhood of Tarzana where he leased a newly renovated house. In fact, if you all can remember that far back in time, it was in front of this very house that Britney had herself something of a breakdown screaming at the paparazzi who had followed her there. But who could blame her? But let's circle back to Kevin's former rental instead. The actual owner of this property when Kevin lived here was a real estate agent who purchased the house in 2004 for just $750,000. A major renovation was then undertaken in 2006 and the house would eventually hit the market again after Kevin moved out for a much improved $2.5 million price point. During his time in the home, Kevin reportedly paid around $7,000 a month to lease a house that might just happen to be one of the beigest to mansions in the history of Los Angeles. Whether it's the oatmeal colored carpet, the brownish yellow travertine floors, or the sandy colored walls with wood window trim, this 6,000 square foot home is about as boring as you can imagine a giant house like this looking on the inside. In Kevin's defense, at least it came with a few interesting bells and whistles, like a home theater, a gym, five fireplaces, a steam shower, multiple walk-in closets, as well as five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms, which I would imagine was more than enough space for Kevin and his two young sons. After spending a few months in that rental, Kevin would eventually upgrade to yet another Tarzana mansion, this one, a Mediterranean style home that measures in at 6,826 square feet while including seven bedrooms as well as eight and a half bathrooms. I can't imagine a bachelor like Kevin was at this time cleaning one bathroom, let alone eight and a half of them. But with his two sons from Brittany and two other children he had with his former partner Char 
Jackson to care for. I guess Kevin just really needed that extra space. Furthermore, this new rental was located in a gated community in a small development that bordered the El Caballeros Country Club, which meant that there wouldn't be a repeat of that paparazzi scene that unfolded right in front of his former non-gated house. At the time he lived here, Kevin's residence was owned by a real estate agent, again, who bought the property for $2.25 million in May 2004. For the finer details, the house was constructed in a Tuscan style with a gourmet kitchen that included stainless steel Wolf and Sub-Zero branded culinary appliances, as well as an exterior fireplace and TV, a water fountain, and even an infinity pool with waterfalls. At the very least, it sounds like Kevin's kids would have enjoyed this place a lot more than their former house. Eventually, however, Kevin left behind his bachelor ways when he met volleyball player Victoria Prince. Within five years, these two were married with a kid, which led to yet another move. Considering how large of a family Kevin has with six kids total from three different women, and that he's generally kept himself out of the public eye for the past decade or so, the home he lives in today hasn't been as well documented. What we do know is that he lives with Victoria and their blended family in the Calabasas region of California, where it's believed that his new home is a five bedroom, six bathroom abode with 6,000 square feet of space. The home boasts an attached garage alongside double-sided front steps that lead up to the front entrance of the house. Inside, the foyer features travertine flooring with a winding wrought iron staircase, while the kitchen includes granite countertops as well as custom wood cabinets. Additionally, the home is said to include a finished basement down below, one that comes fully stocked with a wet bar as well as a home theater setup, wine cellar, and sauna. It's unclear for how long Kevin's called the place home, but my best guess is it's been the better part of 10 years, probably around the time that he and Victoria got hitched in 2013. Another assumption on my part is that one of the reasons we know so little about this place is that there really hasn't been any need to discuss Kevin since he's more or less retired from the spotlight. But there was that recent news that Brittany and her new hubby Sam Asghari recently bought a new place of their own. And guess what? It's located just down the street from Kevin's. After getting married to Sam in June of 2020, Britney would drop an epic $11.8 million for an amenity packed mansion filled with everything from a wine cellar to a 10 seat movie theater with Dolby surround sound and a room dedicated to gift wrapping. But in fact, if you want to learn more about this incredible property, then you can check out our recent house tour that went in depth into everything that Britney's new place has to offer. But we're going to look at how Britney's sudden reappearance in her family's life has altered their living situation. You see, after Kevin was awarded sole custody of the couple's two children in 2007, it would take Brittany years to return to a 50-50 split in terms of custody of her sons. Then, in August 2018, their arrangement was once again altered so that Brittany would only be with her sons 30% of the time, while the other 70% would be spent with Kevin. Kevin's new attorney would suggest that this new arrangement was in the best interest of their children, and considering what would happen next, he might have been right. When Brittany originally moved to Calabasas, a source would tell TMZ that Kevin was surprised that of all the neighborhoods she can afford to move to, she chose his. But as long as his peace and tranquility aren't invaded as a result, more power to her. But that tranquility must have been broken pretty fast because just recently, Kevin has given a sit down interview to ITV News in which he revealed that his sons, Preston and Jaden, have not seen their mother in many months, despite the fact that she lives so close to them now. And according to Kevin, this decision was solely their own and has more than a little to do with Britney's behavior on social media. This is where she's taken to often posting nude or semi-nude pictures of herself since getting out from under her conservatorship last year. And while Kevin insists that the boys still love their mother, he would tell ITV, I try to explain to them, look, maybe that's just another way she tries to express herself, but that doesn't take away from the fact of what it does to them. It's tough. I can't imagine how it feels to be a teenager having to go to high school. Who knows how many people ask them about it or talk to them about it. What do you guys think about all of this? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below or what you think about KFED's properties. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!